Welcome back together everyone. It's time for a new lesson and the topic of this lesson is workbook exercises. Now we are going to do together some exercises. Do you remember the last lesson? We talked about the form have got and the demonstrative pronouns these, that, these and those. Now it's time to use them in sentences. Are you ready? Very good. Follow me, please. Do you remember this table? Do you remember these forms? Here we have some forms of have got in affirmative, questions and negatives. Just to remember, supportive requituar. Let's read them together. Have you got fair hair? And this is a question. Have you got a fair hair? Yes, I have. Or yes, we have. No, I haven't. No, we haven't. Në fjallit pyëtse, e filojnë pyëtjen me have, me fjallën have. Dhe kujdes, në fjallit pozitive, yes, I have. Në fjallit negative, no, I haven't. Dhe for pjesës a got, nuk ndryshon, mbetet e pa ndryshushme, por... Nuk e përdorim atë tek fjalit, tek përgjigjet e shkurtra, vetëm tek pyetja. Dhe një herë bashkë. Have got? Have you got? In the answer, we don't have got, just have. Do you remember that? That's the rule. We use have got in the question, but only have or haven't in the answer. Good. The same thing, but third person singular. Have you got? Has he got? We change have into has. The same thing then after this. Has he got freckles? Has she got freckles? Remember that. Good. Of course, yes, he has, she has, or no, he hasn't, she hasn't. The negative we use not. We don't use the word got in the short forms. Nuk e përdorim pjesës në got, kur përgjigjemi në format e shkurtra, në më thënë në përgjigje. Have you got straight hair? And here we have the plural. Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Pra kujdes dhe njëherë në fjalit pyetse. Përdorim have. Vendoset për emri në mes, pasaj pjesës a got, por kur përgjigjemi, përdorin vetëm pjesës në have, apo has si pas rastit. And here we have the negative. I haven't got curly hair. You haven't got. We haven't got. They haven't got. She hasn't got. He hasn't got. And it hasn't got. Do you remember well? Good. Let's use them. In exercises now. Do you remember this reading part? We already did that together. We have it again today just to find the have got forms and the exercise says find the have got form. Read carefully. I read and you take notes of the have got forms. Pra, unë do letëzojme nga dalë dhe ju në shtëpi do shënoni format have got, do ndaloni të format have got. This is fun. Hey Anne, have you got straight hair? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you got fair hair? Let's see. Have you got curly hair, Brad? Yes, I have. I've got a bird too. Have you got a bird? No, I haven't. Boys, come out. <laughs> Look at the boys. Brad has got very curly hair. We're very funny. Wow. Now look at me. I've got a mustache and freckles. Ha, 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 ha. Remember this text? Good. Did you took note, sorry, did you take notes of the have got form? Let's do that again together. 
Have you got straight hair? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you got fair hair? Have you got curly hair? Yes, I have. I have got a bird. I have got a moustache. These are the forms of have got. Look at the exercise number two. Circle the right answer. Look carefully at the pictures and let's read the questions together. Has she got fair hair? Fair hair? Flock me jurta hapur. Uh huh. Yes, she has. Has she got straight hair? This is the straight hair. I've got straight hair. What about the picture? No, no, he hasn't. Has he got curly hair? Uh huh. Yes, yes, he has got curly hair. Look at this picture. Has he got a bird? He has got a mustache, but not a bird. That's why we say, no, he hasn't. And do you remember Tab? A bunny moon personage in Tab. And we say, has he got freckles? Yes, he has. Is it clear? Good. Exercise number three now. We have to make questions. Look and complete. Look at the picture and we make questions. Has he got a mustache? Yes, he has. Let's stop here. Para se të vazhdojmë në tjera, e rifreskojmë dhe njëherë regullin. Si formojmë fjallit pëtse? Gjithmonë formën have got, apo has got, endajmë në mes, vendosim për emrin, dhe vazhdojmë e pjesën tjetër, po kujdes, tek për gjigja, nuk e përdojmë pjesë së zënë got. Qartë? Very good. Look at the picture. Has she got curly hair? No, she hasn't. Have they got fair hair? Fair hair? Yes, they have. Has he got freckles? Uh -huh. Yes, he has. Is it okay? Let's see carefully. We say has and we say have. Remember? Third person singular, the plural form. Has got, have got. Very good. Now it's your turn. Try to make some sentences using the forms of have got. When we say forms, look, forms is in plural. That means there are, remember how many? Three forms, tre forma. The question, pyset. The negative, negative, and of course the affirmative. The sigurisht, fjallit pohore. Try to make some of these sentences. Let's go on with some other exercises. Again, in the previous lesson, we explained the use of the demonstrative pronouns. In Albanian, premrat, dëftor. Ky, kjo, a i, a jo. Si themun. Ky, është një ushtrim. Ky është një ushtrim, e kam afer. A i, a i, dhe unë largohen, është një ushtrim. Remember the rules. Very good. Let's complete the exercise. Look, always look at the finger. And look again, we have an object in plural. Pra, objekti është në shumës. Ne do të fokusojmë të, ne do të ndajmë mëndjen, do të fiksojmë mirë. Numërin shumës, kemi dy për emra. Kemi these edhe those. These për prannesh, those për largnesh. Me që nëse gishti është afer, atere ne do themi these. These are his shoes. What about this now? We have one object. It means it is singular. Kemi një objekt, do thot që kemi të bëjmë e numrin njëjes. Edhe një herë bashkë, cilët janë demonstrative pronouns për numrin njëjes? What do you think? Okay, these and that. Kemi dy, si do gjukojmë. Pran, afer, these, larg, that, larg. Good. What do you think? Is the dress near or far in distance? It is far. So we say 
That is her dress. Again, two objects, plural. And we say this? No, the finger is far. That's why those, those are watches. One object, this or that. Look at the finger. It's near, touching. That's, we, that's why we say this is his t-shirt. What do you think? Is it clear? Let's go on. Another exercise. Complete. This, that, these, those. Let's see. We have the, an arrow instead of the finger. Në vënd të gishtit si që mësuam, dhe rita një kemi një shigjet. What is this? This because it is near after. Objekti numre një jes, after this. And look at the snake, it's far. What is that? That. How many cars? Three. It is plural. These or those. But look at the arrow. Offer. Kemi offer. What are these? Two books. Far in the distance. What are good? Those. We have five pencils. Numri shumas. Offer në rastin ton. What are these? One tree. Një pen. What is this? What are those? Two bags far from us. What is that? One dog far in the distance. And what are these? Four pretty flowers. And near us. What are these? Këshila e fundit. Kujdes me shqiptimin. Mund të duken të njashme, por ka ndryshim në shqiptim. This, this, me s. And these, edhe e zjasim dhe përdorim z. This and these. Is that okay? I hope you have understood all the explanation and here it is an activity for you. Got the activity in Tuai. Listen, what is the teacher saying? Find a place you like at your home. Start pointing at the at things and say this is, that is, these are, those are. It's time for you to work at home. Go hapar the bur activity na shtupi. Mësu e se a ju thot, gjeni një vënd në shtëpi që ju pëlqen, vëndin tuaj të preferuar. Zidhi një vënd, thjeshtë rasësisht, dhe filoni të tregoni për objektet që shikoni për qark. Dhe do, përdor një format, cilat, this is, that is, these are, those are. Hope you have a very nice time doing that activity at home. And here we are at the end of this lesson. Goodbye.